Hi guys, Divic here, and we're back with another video discussing some things I myself, and along with a lot of other community members, would love to see added to this game. Now, I've kind of collected all everyone's ideas along with that of my own and kind of added a bit of a formula to make this work. Now, some of these ideas are not my own. But I, I did put a little bit of a spin on it, like, oh, let's, it's this, but there's also a little bit more thought put in. You know, so I, I asked on the 16th of May, so earlier than, in the month, what are some things that um, some of the community would like to see? Now, I'm just going to quickly list off the things I picked, and we'll kind of go just go through the comments of that video. So now, the things I, I mentioned was... The removal of reflex guard because you know as the game is going for more of a read base rather than a reaction base it would make more sense to just take that out adding the player versus ai game modes and events to the arcade you know because there's a the entire right side of that map that is not being used and why not add that to that menu i mean really what what's the harm lowering the cost of materials outfits and other items um, so like the, the, the black iron and all, all that kind of stuff, for, uh, shave that price down from 10000 to about 1000 since on certain characters you can't necessarily see it unless your character is like wearing all black or something like that. And you know, outfits and other things like the, the epic, elite, elite outfits, epic, or not epic, mythic outfits and all those. The more expensive ones, you can shave that down to about 7000 or or 7,000, 5,000 to 7,000 steel across the board because if you have if you have five or more mains like I do, I'll put the I'll put those five on screen in case you're new to the channel. You're for the the illustrious outfits. You're talking about 50,000 to 100,000 steel for five characters, and that does does not make any sense that's a lot of steel and yes I, I realize that will probably cut into the whole you know steel packs thing but even you know 5,000 steel is like five bucks well for it not in PS store for me so it's really not that big of a deal it wouldn't really do that much I don't think and also um, yeah just removing some lowering that price down across the board because people and also it just makes it easier for people who are like maybe going from PlayStation to Xbox or even PC and like, oh, I want to get all the customizations that I had on here, but for, you know, on a different console. And, you know, you can't really do that you know, without those player versus AI game modes or even those PvP game modes. Speaking of those, remove the tribute, remove tribute altogether and replace it with PvP event game modes. So like that last one that we just had with, a uh, Domini, you know, shouting and all that, or, you know, we had the, uh, the Horkos event with the giant Sanhu. You know, that that was something that was really, really cool. And, you know, those are just five my five ideas. I could literally just, I could break those down in separate videos if you guys would want me to. You know, let me know in the comments section below. But, um, community member Woodland Johnny said, I would like to be able to bring a squad of minions with me if I play a certain character, like a Vanguard, or maybe just add officers Speederman and maybe even some archers around B lane for Dominion. So if you're playing on, say, this map, you can maybe add them on the, maybe some archers on, on the bridge there, or if you're playing on Sentinel, you can have them standing on the edge of Zone A, the archers even, like, shooting down at B, we can have officers, you know, leading the charge of the minions. So, like, in that opening cutscene, you see an officer saying, you know, to battle or whatever. Instead of, you know, just a random minion that just looks like, like, literally just all the same people. And maybe you can have, even have some pikemen in the back. And, you know, just Winter Simone, we're creating that the, uh, materials are, are, like, really, really expensive and whatnot. And one thing that Jesse Gamblin actually mentioned is that, um, allow multiple paint patterns and color splotches attached to the same, set on the same body part, for each body part. So, like... You can have black arms for a warmonger, you know, cinnabar, cinnabar chest with a white white arm or head or something like that. Like, that, that's basically what he's talking about, and I think that was really cool. Darren Collins, agree, uh, saying the removal of reflex guard like I was, 
and they added uh, custom paint jobs. So being able to like you decide what colors you want to put on your characters. And I'm going to add on based on what you have unlocked already for that character. So it's another just incentive to rep up your character. So like say for example like warm uh, say Hidekiri, Zotnahu, and Aramusha for me. Since I have them at rep 70 or anyone who has a character at rep 70 you have even more you know more of a range to select you know sp certain characters so you know if it's if realistic duels for example aren't aren't around and you want to put it solid black for a polyon or a polyon warmonger you can do that because you already have you know double black or you know something like that already unlocked and you could just replace the red like you can actually see it on my on my on a warmonger here on screen and replace it with that last little square or pie piece with another black splotch. That would be really, really cool too. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all of, all the responses I got. And honestly, though, these guys have some brilliant ideas, and I think a lot of this this stuff would be really, really good and just help help the custom with the customization out aspect of the game altogether and I think that re-rolling previous events and yes that I think that maybe if you were to um, I think maybe if you were to re-roll certain events like um, like that uh, that one event that came out when when the whole peace treaty things got started maybe you can you know you get the wyvern dale weapons as as a reward or something and you know it gives another like I said with the Zonhu event, it gives more of a possibility, more of a chance to actually unlock other cosmetics. Because Warmonger and Griffin weren't out during the Zonhu event. They weren't out during, you know, the, the Black Prior event and all those things. I think it would be really, really good if you reroll those events, like I said before, and it would give, you know, the Warmonger mans and the Griffin mans, you know, uh, a chance to actually get those cosmetics because you know Griff uh, Griffin doesn't have a black and purple weapon Warmonger doesn't have a black and purple weapon it would be cool for them to actually have that and maybe my uh, customization convention I'll pop it on screen for you guys would not be broken with uh, with Warmonger because she doesn't have the proper color it's a colored weapon but Anyways, that's just real quick me just running through different ideas I have or the community had. What do you guys think? Would you add any further ideas to this? Let me know in the comment section below. And, you know, let's have a conversation about it because I think a lot of this stuff would be really, really cool. And if we got more people behind it, like if we got more people behind giving giving us two or more uh, loadouts for, per character, this is something that Ubisoft would have to at least consider or at least the four on our devs rather but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and i'll see you guys next time peace also for god's sake can we give Gr warmonger and griffin the clap emote because i i, I just re i just remember this right now but before we end the video really but i just remembered um i have the clap emote for literally the other four you know shaolin hitakiri armusha and zanhu but Warmonger doesn't have it, so my outros are kind of all out of whack because I have freaking uh, Warmonger edge walking while the other four are clapping and thanking you for watching the video. And it just looks like Warmonger's walking at you like, oh, did you think this was over? Or something crazy, you know? But anyways, no, keep, just give her the clapping emote already. Stop it already. I mean, God's sake, she has the raw, but not the uh, clap. Come on now, game. Really, guys? Please, just let her have the clap emote, please. At least warm longer. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.